today we are talking about transitions because we know you love a good transition video so today we have seven of them they're easy they're fun you can try them pretty much anywhere we're trying them at home today <laughs> or on a vacation yeah. and hopefully you pretty much can use any GoPro so we're using the Hero 10 but doesn't mean you need to have a Hero 10 to do them let's show you what we've got I mean, that has got to be one of the most annoying noises. <laughs> At the top of the list, we are working on the whip. Now, this is one of our favorite in-camera transitions. For this, all you're going to need is a simple selfie stick. And if you're outdoors, why not try and get a little bit more motion blur by using an ND filter? So set your camera up at 24 frames a second and your shutter speed at 1 over 48. Always double your frame rate. Pretty simple. All you're going to do is make sure that you whip in. What's up, guys? And always whip the same way. Keep that 360 rotation happening. So this is how <laughs> you So camera starts away, so it's facing you guys. Whip, what's up? How you doing? You good? Whip out. See that? We just keep rotating the camera. So this... Smoothie time! Ah, oh, we've been having such a nice day. All right, for lack of more creative title, this transition is now called Mouth to bag. If you have a better recommendation, you can drop it in the comments. We would appreciate it because the name kind of sucks, but the transition is cool. What you need is a bite mount, so like this here. And what you're going to do is that you're going to get a POV perspective with your two hands free, like this, of you coming up to a backpack or some sort of bag, zipping it open, and then you're going to shoot the same scene but the camera is gonna be at the bottom of your bag, ready to like catch you catching it. Two important things before I step you through it is number one, use super view, right? You want as wide an angle as possible. Number two, if you wanna make sure you're framing the right shot, you can use the app. Remember, it's right there, you can get a preview. So let's do it. Bonus tip, to take this transition to the next level, be sure to use either an L or a J cut. We cover all these types of cuts in our Action Camera Masterclass, top link in the description if you want to learn more. Next up is a super fun transition, we're just getting pretty experimental here. Um, we've called this one the bucket to pull. Um, it's two phase, basically what we're trying to do here is create some motion through to the camera. Uh, water coming into the lens, making sure there is motion coming out of the camera. Three, two, oh. I think to make the falling part look really good, having a longer selfie stick, something like 90 centimeters works best and shoot in super view. Really give your audience the perspective that you're falling. Three, two, oh. Three, two, one. Whoa. This next transition, all you need is your trusty bite mount, obviously an action camera, and a hat. Any hat will do. And I'm gonna throw it on the camera, POV style. It's gonna go to dark, and then we're gonna reveal something. If you guys have enjoyed any of the transitions you've already seen in today's video, we'd love it if you could take a second and punch that thumbs up button. That's right. And if you'd like to learn more, we actually have an entire masterclass first link right in the description. That's four module. We go in depth in all things action camera filmmaking related. Pretty much all our knowledge compiled in four module over 40 lessons. There's so much there. First link. Okay, we're giving it a little shaky shake shake. Hey. Shake, 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 shake. Now we're on to the shake. For this effect to work best, you wanna avoid using high frame rates. So think 24 
that's ideal. And you can also use an ND filter if you want to get some extra motion blur in there. So this is what we call the shake. Super important to make sure that when you do this transition, you get enough. Try to shake it. Shake, 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 shake. So after trial and error, we have a couple of recommendations. Number one is turning off HyperSmooth. That's right, the one time you wanna turn it off is now because you really wanna get that shake. Second thing, we tried with the bat mount, but you don't get a good grip. It's much better with a selfie stick where you can really whack it around and then really get that motion blur. Let's test it. This transition is called the POV to sky. All you are gonna need is a bite mount and preferably a blue sky. Now we like to do this one or we like to shoot in linear or wide. Superview is gonna make that match cut a little harder. So let's show you what we're gonna do. transition you can start whichever way you want now important for this to work is you must keep continuity and consistency with the person holding the camera mm -hmm. so if we're in the bath and the camera is in my left hand make sure it is also in your left hand and that your partner or your friend friend <laughs> your roommate your <laughs> your colloque is on the right <laughs> Thank you so much for checking out today's video. Hopefully this has filled you with a bunch of ideas for your upcoming Euro summer vacation. That's right, and we have more transition ideas for you right there in those videos in the cards or in the end cards. It's all in there. See you guys in the next upload. Peace.